Uh, by Jean-Francois Dugas. Did I totally mess that up or what? <laughs> no, it's fine. JF, as he's uh, lovingly referred to as well, and you're the creative director over at IDOS Montreal, working on Deus Ex Human Revolution, a game I am really excited about. You brought us some gameplay to take a look at, so uh, let's take a look at the gameplay here in just a second, but before we do, talk a little bit about where we're at with this game, Deus Ex, and what it's bringing that's fresh and unique for the genre. Right. Uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution is an action RPG that is set in 2027, and you, you play as Adam Jensen, uh, uh, a security specialist uh, working for a company called Serif Industries. And as you start the game and as you start the adventure with uh, Adam Jensen, uh, is uh, totally human. And as uh, you, you start to progress in the game, some event happens where you get uh, badly injured and now you're forced to, to get augmented. So now you start to experiment with uh, transhumanist technologies and, and whatnot. And uh, after that, you are on a, on a track to find out who attacked you and who are behind uh, the curtain and trying to manipulate the events. Now we're taking a look at some uh, gameplay here, Jay. Tell us a little bit yeah. about which part of the game we're taking a look at. Actually, we're uh, roughly at the, the middle of the game. Uh, it's a new demo that we're showing off uh, this year at E3. Uh, basically, at this point, uh, Adam Jensen is on, uh, uh, on the, 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 um, the trace of, of finding uh, some really important information that is going to, to, to uh, unravel a, a big discovery. Uh, I'm, I'm staying loose here because mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil anything because even in that demo, we don't don't spoil it, and um, so you're you're to a point where you're going that your your uh, your um, uh, your quest is going to open up. Like now you're going to see who are really behind the the, the curtain, and you're going to start to trace those those uh, those people and try to understand what's going on and stop them. Basically, we're looking at a little bit of what is this a hacking mechanic going the, on here? Yeah, this is the hacking system. Uh, you can use it to unlock computers, to get to emails. You can uh, also uh, unlock doors, a secret passage. Uh, you can also turn uh, some uh, cameras off or or uh, some uh, robots uh, as an ally and things like that. So with the hacking, you can really, really expand the possibilities uh, within the game. You guys have been talking a lot about choice being influential in, in the gameplay experience. What if you don't like hacking? Can you? How integral is it into the experience? Right. Uh, the hacking is not uh, is not uh, forced on the player very often. And when it is, it's the the, min, uh, the minimum level of a hacking that you, you need. So uh, if you choose to play Adam Jensen without investing any points in, into hacking, you won't be penalized for that. But if you really want to, to invest invest more, you can really, really uh, expand the possibilities. Are we looking at some gadgets that we're about to use here? Or, yeah. or a sniper rifle? What are, what are we shooting? Here it's a silenced uh, sniper rifle, and uh, what's happening is that uh, the, the, the player wants to, to take the guard uh, on the other side of, of the pool uh, down. But uh, right now there's a bobbing and everything, so he's going to go into his uh, inventory, into his uh, uh, augmentation tree to uh, add the stabilizer, so he's going to be more precise to, to shoot at the guy. So Here this we is go. really all about developing every aspect of the character, not just the story choices, but also obviously having a lot of depth to developing the, the character that the way you want, right? Absolutely. Like choices are on all levels. Basically, there's the, the story, all the choices with some of the characters, but also how you decide to upgrade your, your, your character with augmentations, but with weapons as well and everything. So it's on the v various levels. Now, what if somebody's more action-oriented? Obviously, we've seen a lot of sneaking around, a lot of hacking, sniping, silent sniping. What if you really wanted to kind of go guns a-blazing? Is that an option as well? Yes, you take the machine pistol, the combat rifle, and you get some uh, augmentations like the, the, the Typhoon uh, system, and you just go. You still need to be tactical, though, because the enemies can be very, very brutal. So, But you, you can use uh, a lot of heavy uh, firepower to... Uh, Mm -hmm. to get the job done. Obviously this franchise has been around for a long time and it's a sort of a reinvention, also a reintroduction to people who haven't been around the Deus Ex franchise before. So what would you have to say in terms of appeasing fans of the franchise from before but also introducing a new audience? Mm. I think uh, this uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, it's a, a, a real successor to the original Deus Ex. We went back to, to the roots of the franchise and really tried to understand what were the core values uh, of that kind of game and whatnot. And this is what we, we tried to, to reproduce in our own terms, like with our own uh, uh, references uh, and everything. And for uh, the new uh, the new fans around, I think like uh, if they're into action RPG, like story driven games with a lot of possibilities and be very, very creative in the way they, they solve problems, I think uh, it's going to be a game to look for. Have you gotten a lot of feedback from old fans of the franchise in terms of 
uh, what, what they think about the, uh, the look and feel of the game so far? Yes, uh, everybody that saw it, like that, they were fans of the, the old game. Uh, they were like, okay, this is a real DSX game. And for us, it's the best compliment uh, that we can have. All right. All right, well, I've obviously given you a lot of questions, but Justine, what questions do we have from the uh, GT community? Well, we've got a bunch of questions from Facebook and Twitter. Are you ready for these? Mm -hmm. Okay, because they're going to be pretty intense here. <laughs> first one here from Lenny H on Facebook. Will we meet any characters from the first game? Probably, and uh, if you watch the trailers that we that we released recently, you already see one. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Which the trailers are amazing, by the way. I got to give you Thanks. a lot of credit. They're, they're awesome. Um, will Deus Ex Revolution be able to have DLC later in the future? Uh, it's a it's a subject that we're not commenting at, at this point. The only thing I will say is that we're uh, really dedicated to take care of the franchise on the long run. Mm -hmm. Daniel C on Facebook wants to know if you guys are planning to support the mod community. At this point, there is no plan, but it doesn't mean that in the future we won't go uh, with something. Okay, let's see what else. All right, we got. you got one question left. Just I do. Okay, let's is. make it a good one. All right, they love the first day you sex. The second one, not so much. But what does Human Revolution have in common with the first game? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, we went back, tried to to recapture the spirit of the original with strong characters, but also giving a strong background to to the main character. Uh, we also uh, went in depth in terms of possibilities with augmentations, with uh, uh, weapons as well, like mm -hmm. with upgrades with ammo and things like that. So we didn't uh, took uh, the route of saying like, oh, it's going to be on all platforms. Let's let's simplify things. We didn't do that. We wanted to make sure that the the, the depth and the complexity of the game was uh, easy to understand and mm -hmm. get into. That's awesome. Excellent. Well, I think it's looking and sounding great, Jeff. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much for stopping by.